Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, the Death Smasher, and today I want to do a a quick should you summon video because the end of the month gotcha is upon us. So I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do this because uh, I feel like it needs to be done. So I'm just gonna go over the new end of the month gotcha that is coming, which I have not made any videos about. Which are the new past Shunsui, past Jushiro, and past Yoruichi. Now I gotta ask myself, why did they already give us another Shunsui and another Jushiro? We just had them like uh, a good couple of months back. That being said, I still think that this Shunsui compared to the mind version is good, but this Jushiro compared to the mind one is also a downgrade. And this Yoruichi, meh, just meh. True Bankai go 2.0 with just Ronker Killer. Anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the characters. So, here's your blah, blah, blah. The Prudent Captain of Squad 8, Shunsui Kyoraku. Shunsui is a ranged strong attack character with Soul Reaper Killer ability. All of his attacks have a chance to inflict the new uh, Lacerate, I think? Lacerate? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Just, let's just call it Bleed, because that, that's what players have in the BBS uh, community seem to be calling it nowadays. Bleed. Which combines well with his Crawling Vortex, second strong attack, he can also unlock Frenzy, and a two-second debilitator to max make maximum use of his new status ailment. That's not all, though. He can all also unlock Weakened Immunity, making him a great character to go on, on quests with lots of Weakened inflicting hazards or enemies. So, anyways, uh, Shunsui, in my opinion, has to be by far the best unit in the banner because he has a really good kit. First strong attack being a uh, range shot. Second strong attack being a crawling vortex or moving vortex, whatever you want to call it. And third being full screen. But that being said, he does have a strong attack damage link, so it kind of does hinder him. But he is a really good unit for guild quests, and I feel like he is going to be needed in the future. But, I don't know, the banner just kind of doesn't really make it for me, so it's a summon on it. Uh, so, yeah. I have to say, Shunsui is the one that convinced me the most. Yoruichi, the one that disappointed me the most. Yoruichi is a mainly strong into character with Soul Reaper Killer. What? Oh, she's... Link for Ichigo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I thought she was a wrong character killer, but oh. Her second strong attack is a boost move, the effect of which can be extended by unlocking her enhancer skill. She can also unlock Frenzy and, 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 and increase to a reduced strong attack cooldown soul trade to minus 14%. I won't lie... She does have a good soul trait because right now she is the only heart unit in the premium summons that has an enhanced recharge link of 14%. So that is a good because the only other 14% recharge links we have are Moody One, Ichigo, and Swimsuit Nell who are not in the premium summons. So saying that is a good step up, but the character itself, I'll go into it why. The popular co captain of Squad 13, Jushiro Ukitaki. Jushiro, Jushiro is a ranged strong attack character with a hollow killer ability. His second strong attack is a combined heal and attack, the effect of which can be extended by the entire team by unlocking his medic skill. He can also unlock Frenzy, making him a great, uh, uh, making him great at both attack and support. He is also the second character to be able to unlock the uh, boosted 25% full stamina damage boost soul trait, which he is able to maintain with ease thanks to his ease healing stro second strong attack. So he's the second uh, unit other than Toshiro to get that uh, enhanced uh, extra 25% full stamina damage boost. But I feel like, in my opinion, it should have been recharged because he has heal and um, it's going to make him really slow in guild quests and it's only going to be good for co-op. Which is kind of sad. So anyways, Shunsui. 778 SP. Highest uh, SP in the game for tech. Obviously one of the best tech units in the game right now. So he has, uh, but yeah. He has Bruiser, Devastation, Sprinter, Frenzy, Debilitator, Weaken Immunity. And he requires uh, these characters. Like, uh, no new raid characters. I'm not so fucking surprised. Shunsui. Best in the banner. I would definitely go for him if I had uh, spare orbs. Yoruichi. 1,071 stamina, six, attack at 641, defense at 358, focus at 356, and 770 SP. And she has so strong attack recharge, bruiser, 20% devastation, 40% sprinter, frenzy, and enhancer. The thing that I don't like about this Yoruichi is that Yoruichi and Soifon, they're mainly the go-tos for guild quest. And this Yoruichi, they made her really slow just by giving her a second strong attack that allows her to boost. 
Okay, yes, she does have an advantage over a true Bankai Ichigo, but here's the thing. She doesn't inflict any status ailments. She doesn't transform and change the magnification of her strong attacks. She's just a link for true Bankai Ichigo. I'm sorry, but it's the fucking truth, and the only way I could have seen this Yoruichi be really good in guild quests is if they gave, gave her long stride, which they don't do anymore for whatever reason. If they gave her long stride, then she was she would have been an amazing unit. I would have been able to look over the fact that her second strong attack is a boost move. Because she can already do so many goddamn flash steps and move at a quicker pace to get to, to the end of the map. But because she doesn't have that... I'm sorry, Yorichi. You're just going to be a link if I pull you. Besides, why Soul Reaper Killer? Why Soul Reaper Killer? Why not Hollow? Why not Arankar? God damn it. Jushiro, she, uh, Jushiro is decent, I won't lie, but, oh yeah, and before I go over this, facts, uh, she's gonna be good in co-op, and I guess some portion of guild quests, but it's just my opinion, I'm, tr I'm trying to be not, not as biased as possible, it's just, I just don't want this Yoruichi. Well, I won't say I won't want her, I just don't think she's really worth it. Jushido, 1,069 uh, stamina, attack at 6,34, defense at 3,67, focus at 3,52. Hill Hollow Killer, 25% full stamina damage boost, Bruiser, Frenzy, Sprinter, Devastation, 40%, Medic. So, he is gonna- Jushido, unfortunately, he- like I said, because he has the full stamina damage boost and his, his second strong attack is a heal ability- He's not going to be that amazing for guild quest. I'm sorry, but Thousand Year Blood War Torture will still take the cake by a lot. And also the new Red Eisen. And he's just going to be really slow. But for co-op, he's going to be an excellent healer. So if I do get him, I will for sure be uh, definitely going to be using him. Because he is a really good character in my opinion. But not for guild quest. But that's just my non-biased opinion. And the fillers. So what do we have? They actually gave us... Uh, one armed Yama, who we've seen a couple of, of gotchas ago. Mayu, uh, like, no, no. <laughs> Omaida, who the last we've seen was from uh, the third anniversary. Not the third anniversary. What the fuck am I saying? New Year step ups. There we go. Momo, who makes her, fu her fucking debut as an actual filler. And I've been wanting her for the longest time since uh, forever. Kensei. Already makes a debut <laughs> before he even got old. And there are so many characters that still need to be in the filler gotchas. Shinji, who, who makes his return after third anniversary. And Mayuri, he, well, he, re he returned before in the, in the Aizen banner with Shinji and uh, Sh uh, Shunsui. So, I won't lie, the filler pool is good. If you guys don't have any of these characters, like, I do not have Momo, I do not have Kensei, I do not have Shinji. But I already have Yama, Omaida, and Mayuri. So, and let me just say this, all this all these characters are, go are good. Warner and Yama, even though he has got, he has been weakened by Weaken, <laughs> literally Weaken, he is still somewhat good in PvP because he still does counter Chad, he still destroys any broken that is around in PvP, like... He still destroys speed units in PvP, so he does have some use in there. Omaida, he is actually the weakest in the no, actually second weakest in the banner because uh, he had because he does have frenzy and a good SP of 728 or 29, but is a crystal link. So he's mainly going to be your go-to for when you're trying to farm for crystals, duels, and basically get the events done for the. Uh, Crystal, uh, for the Frenzy events, like, for example, Frenzy Grimja, Frenzy Ichigo, whatever the fuck, even the Frenzy Intensive Quartz, which, which nowadays is actually very important. Momo is a really good, uh, healer for Inheritance Zone. She does have Aranka Killer, which is not that common nowadays, because most of them are in the fucking, uh, in fucking Seasonal Banners, and she's one of the few of them. And she's actually really good. Even though the she does scream a lot, she does have frenzy, strong attack, recharge, and it's just an overall amazing unit that I would definitely like to have myself. But <laughs> I'm not summoning on the banner. Kensei is the weakest in the banner, but he does have his own usability in terms of his link because he has he has he is a 20 dr link for Yama. 
So if you get him, you're pretty much set to go for Yama, and you only need a Tag Team Koga and just a random um, damage reduction link in the uh, metal exchange, like uh, plush, Plushy Devil Rookie or... or um, he, uh, what the fuck? I don't remember. Basically, Ichigo's boss. Shinji! He's still one of the best holo killers in the game for mind, and... He's just an overall really good character, that's all I can say. And he's and he has a really good kit. And he has a must-have for guild quests and some Kaimon quests, because he's been very useful nowadays. Mayuri, he has a 20 DR link for Kenpachi, but he is an amazing character himself, because he does have a debilitating poison on all of his strong attacks, and has a really good kit. Making him really good as a support unit in guild quests, useful in some Kaimon quests, and... It's just an overall really good unit, I won't lie. He's actually really good, despite giving him a uh, damage reduction. But I'm just gonna say this. I think the banner is good. Even though I think Kyoto-Wishi is a disappointment. This banner is good. It has good fillers, good uh, characters. But... We have to keep in mind one more goddamn thing. We have to keep in mind one more goddamn thing. Can't fear your own world! is upon us. Can't Fear Your Own World is going to be out by April of 2019. And we're very likely going to be getting uh, Hikone, Ubu Ubuginu, and possibly Grim Zhao and Nell, if they're, in, if they're going to be labeled as Can't Fear Your Own World characters, and they're going to be a part of the banner. And we're getting more closer than ever to getting them, so... It could be as, either as a mid-month gacha, where it's double chance, or as an end-of-the-month gacha for April. So, anything can happen. My advice on this... Okay, not the Kokuto banner, I think he's good, but... <laughs> My advice on the end-of-the-month gacha is... If you have, like, 3 to 4k orbs, or 2k, only drop 1k max. And then stop summoning. Don't do the the mistakes I did with the white day. Don't do them. Just don't. But if you have all the fillers, if you have all of them, do not summon on this banner. Or if you're under 1k orbs like me, do not summon on this banner. Because this banner is going to make you drain your orbs and you won't... And basically saving up for the Can't Fear Your Own World characters is going to be way harder. Considering they are going to be changing the game. They're going to be game-breaking units. And whatnot. So yeah, that's my opinion. And uh, yeah, not much else to say. Yeah, I think I'll end the video there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like my comment, be sure to subscribe, like, and like the video, and share this video with your friends. And I'm going to go back to auto farming IZ. So, peace out, bitches.